Hi, Jake Gerber here at Frederick Layton Elementary School. As a former student here, I've continued to follow what's been going on. The Layton Elementary School principal, Larry Schmeagle, along with the Layton Elementary School Home and School Association, partnered up with Wolf Radio in order to raise pennies for St. Jude Children's Hospital. This fundraiser was a tremendous success. Hi, I'm Pamela Dowd. I'm the president at Leighton Home and School, and we did a fundraiser to help uh, St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital, and we collected pennies for the whole month of October. We asked the kids to bring in, and the goal was to reach 10,000 pennies, and we surpassed that goal because our students brought in 14,266 pennies, so $142.66 was donated to St. Jude's. And we got involved in this because Wolf 105.1 Radio had um, contacted our building principal, Larry Schmeagle, and he forwarded that email to me. And we thought it would be a great community service project for our students to be involved in. So we put the vote out to our home and school board members and they said, yeah, let's do it. And we brought Wolf 105, uh, Courtney, I believe her name is, came and brought the jug in and they put pennies in it for the month. And uh, we were hoping to win a visit from their mascot, Howler. That was part of the whole program and uh, we did win a, a visit from Howler. He did visit the school when they came to collect the pennies. About 10,450 children in the U.S. under the age 15 were diagnosed with cancer in 2014. Cancer is the leading cause of death by disease in children and adults in the United States. Each year, approximately 13,500 children and adults 18 and under are diagnosed with cancer. That's more than a classroom of kids a day. This is where St. Jude's Research Hospital comes in. Since it opened its doors to the public in 1962, St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital, established by Dan Thomas, thousands of children's lives have been changed for the better. Treatments invented at St. Jude's have helped push the overall childhood cancer survival rate from 20% to more than 80% since it's open. Because the majority of St. Jude's funds comes from individual contributors, St. Jude has the ability to focus on what matters most saving kids, and finding a cure for cancer. St. Jude's has been operating for over 50 years, and through that period of time, new breakthroughs are made every day, leading the world closer and closer to finally finding a cure for children's cancer. Students that um, we had it as, turn it into kind of a math lesson at the end, and um, had the students um, set projections or estimated um, value of the pennies that were raised, and um, the Home and School Association sponsored the class that had the closest estimation of pennies raised um, with a pizza party with the principal. Okay. And just one final question. Uh, do you plan on doing this fundraiser in the future? Yes, we are excited. I think as, um, as a school we look for any opportunities we can to engage our students in service learning and this is an excellent way for our students to give back to the community and those that are less fortunate. As you can see, this school is not only one that focuses on education, but on giving back to the community as well. Donations such as this can allow St. Jude's Children's Hospital to continue to provide their services for children with illnesses. For WBUC News, I'm Jake Gerber.